You have to protect your kids. Parents, do you know who your children are talking to online? Their Better Business Bureau sounding the alarm about sextortion scams. Criminals trick victims to send explicit pictures of themselves, then threatens to release the images unless the senders pay up. Parents need to be aware of, of what sites they're on, what information they're providing. There has been an increase in these scams targeting children. It's happening on video streaming platforms, online gaming, and social media. Adults are falling victim too. Con artists are using two other ways, romance and phishing. Phishing is basically, essentially, you just get an email or something out of the blue from somebody, um, and they may not be targeting you per se, but anybody who will respond, and they will start with, you know, we've captured information off of, you, off of your computer. Carmen Million is the president and CEO of the BBB South Central Louisiana. She encourages everyone to beware of what you post on social media. When it comes to the romance scenario, crooks will prey on your vulnerability. They may have had a recent breakup, a death in the family or whatever, and they're looking for companionship. Meta has removed 63,000 Instagram accounts linked to sextortion scams from Nigeria. Victims are losing thousands of dollars out of fear of public embarrassment, money they will not get back. We tell consumers every day, Unfortunately, it's an expensive lesson. Million recommends parents to monitor their children online activities. Red flags to look out for. The scammer does not provide details about what site you supposedly visited, and they can't show evidence to prove they have the information they claim. Or they request an urgent ransom be paid in gift cards, Bitcoin, or wire transfer. Never ever respond to somebody who's asking you for either personal information or personal photos. If you do get scammed, Always report it to the BBB or FBI. You can go to our website at bbb.org backslash scam tracker. And the FBI also has a site that you can log a scam on as well.